The time has come. I am so excited! Hello, and if you're new here, welcome back to my channel. If you're not, you know exactly what we're about to do. Whenever you see me with my computer and we are talking to the camera, there is a new Paramore update and we are going to react. We're going to have a first listen. I'm so excited. If you don't know, Paramore and A24 have teamed up and collaborated. Can't even contain my excitement because I was at the Madison Square Garden show where David Byrne was also there. And if you know anything about Paramore, Talking Heads is a huge influence for them. If you were there for the After Laughter era, there was a lot of Talking Heads t-shirts. Haley is one to collect a vintage shirt or two, and when it's a Talking Heads shirt, it's gonna be an iconic photo. I will put one here. Absolutely obsessed with it. It's in my brain right now. Love it, love it, love it. After Laughter Era, Glitter Tears. Shut up! It is probably going to be the best thing that's ever graced my ears, but it's Paramore, so are we surprised? No. As soon as I saw the little visual that they had, the little teaser that they posted, I went feral along with the rest of the Paramore community because if you didn't see Haley Williams running down that hallway, she's so small. It's ridiculous, and I love that for her. But I lost my ever-loving mind. I posted about it on TikTok. You don't have to watch it, but also I freaked out, okay? Obviously, as I do, that's why we're here. We're gonna do a first listen reaction and without further ado because I myself have been waiting long enough here we go okay so good I know I mentioned this before, but it is so crazy that this collaboration is happening. And hearing, literally we're only 40 something seconds in, like the influences that they take from Talking Heads, obviously I'm gonna say this first and foremost, right? And I'm not alone in this. I don't listen to the Talking Heads, all right, okay? Just, like, I, I have an idea, right? I don't live under a rock. I've heard some Talking Heads songs, and obviously when I heard that they were going to be covering this song, I listened to it. And being able to trace back one of Paramore's influences and then allowing them to be a part of this huge collaboration album with a bunch of other artists, might I add. Like, I didn't know Lord was gonna be on it. And it's just so cool hearing their take on their influences and then being able to trace that back to their music and seeing those little bits and pieces of their influences in their songs, in their album cycles, might I add? Like, it's very prevalent that the Talking Heads had a, a very huge influence on Paramore, not only as a whole, but also in their After Laughter era. And just their overall sound, this is just, this is really cool. I'm sorry. Go back to 47 seconds, listen to this. Listen to this. This is a key Haley vocal moment right here. Listen to this. Did you hear that? The what? She really. Oh my god. Play it again. Play, play it again. Play it again. Listen closely. And the run? I need to hear it one more time and I'll move on. I swear to god. tell and I feel like it's very prevalent in this cover can you tell when an artist is having fun I I pick up on that very quickly when you can hear that an artist is having fun with something this was a fun time in the studio I, I would pay a good amount of money to be able to go back in time and and a be there for when they were pitched this like hey do you want like obviously I don't know anything about music business I'm like hey do you want to do this like it was probably a, a larger conversation than that but like to be approached to do this so cool and to be alongside so many other big names like that is so f you're the fucking first name like that so cool so cool but then on top of that for the passion to you know pierce through the speakers like i can hear it. and if you don't hear it whatever but i i just want to say personally I, I feel like they had such a fun time being able to cover this song no go back I'm 
sorry. I'm I love her. That's how I feel. I, I will not contain myself any longer. I am feral. Pregnant. I'm sorry. Not only did Haley have a good time recording the vocals for this, Taylor and Zach were like, oh. Oh, where, 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 um, what? Probably Para 4 also had a hand in this, and I, I can't even imagine Brian Robert Jones. Wah, 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 wah. Like, dude, I wanna know every bit and piece. I'm really hoping, it's leaving my memory, is their name Zachary? That does the, like, the behind the scenes recording. I'm really hoping that there's like some studio behind the scenes. I, I know, they don't have to share every little bit and piece, they can keep it for themselves, but I would love to see some behind the scenes of the making of this because I, I can only imagine how much fun the studio time was. So much fun, like I've been saying, like it just, I hear it and I'm like, this just was probably the most amazing time in the studio. They probably had so much fun. Oh, I love it, go back to it. Are you listening closely? Cause I am. What? And what did you expect? So good. And the other thing I wanna say is that I'm not surprised because anytime Paramore does a cover of a song, it's amazing. Have you heard of their passion fruit cover? Have you heard of their Don't Stop Now cover? Do a do la peep. Have you heard any of their covers? Anytime they do a cover, A, they make it their own in the best way possible, and B, it's good. What did you expect? And obviously I'm me, okay? I I'm obsessed with Paramore. It's literally, it's my personality, okay? I don't care what you have to say, whatever. I'm just going to take a moment. So I just had to, I listened back um, to the other segment in burning down the house. And that, that segment that I thought was amazing in this cover isn't in there. It is, but it's not, it's not paramorphied for comparison reasons. This is what it sounds like in the original recording. Paramorphied it. In the best way possible. In the best way that Haley Williams could. I love it. Were we surprised that I think this is a 10 out of 10? No. Obviously I don't have a background in Talking Heads so I can't really make fair comparisons, right? There's probably other people who are doing first listens reactions who do listen to Talking Heads and they're not Paramore fans, right? So am I like the, the best person to be doing a, a reaction and being like, oh, this is good? Probably not. You should probably rely on a Talking Heads person. But as a Paramore fan, I am obviously over the moon impressed as always. Like they can do no wrong in my eyes because it's, it's Paramore. It's good. If you liked this first listen reaction, make sure you comment down below. What were your thoughts, your opinions? And make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. Obviously I do first listen reactions reactions to anything Paramore. If there's anything you'd like me to do a first listen reaction to that's not Paramore related, I would love to hear that as well because why not? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>